Oh shit, I have to change the name. Day two. God, I'm not. I'm a mess today. Oh, I'm a mess. God damn, they need to fix their loading screens. Alright. Prepare to make a delivery. I mean, I did. I think I'm ready to just get going. chance to think it over chock full of Kyrelia but safe for you dooms guys to wear that's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world to make us whole again I'm a porter I don't care about connecting anything or making knots but I'll do what I have to to help Amelie out Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your Cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drops waiting up there too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. 
Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Why is he so disgusted by the blood? You have gloves on, dude. Some sick dog takes. They're not dog takes. They're calling them that. They're my uh, my keys. That's what they are. Oh look, it's my dad. I mean, I don't know. That's what I see in this, but it could just be the baby that I have. But at the same time, he's calling her daddy. It's really weird. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> he's calling himself to her daddy. See? That's fucking weird. Doctor, that's a germaphobe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's kind of weird. Oh, this isn't locked anymore. Sam, this is Diane Martin. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Portland City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight forward. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. Private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Why do I have an extra pair of boots? Bro, what the fuck? This is where I'd imagine it to be, but it's not in there. Uh. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Oh, here we go. The way station was a couple of months. The first knot in a chain that will eventually span America. You need to deliver oxytocin, boosting, smart drugs, ease the stress of bridges, staff working there. Once you've done that, use your cube. Okay. Or smart drugs. Shows ladders and like red symbols. Cargo for delivery supplies. Climbing anchor and ladder. There's my risks, but I can't really exactly see them. Okay. You think they can break? I hope not. Attached to suit. Sam. 
We've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Hang on tool rack. I'm thinking to hang it on the tool rack, not my back. I can't, I can't put two, right? I don't want to sink, but let's try it. Alright, apparently that works. I could... Okay, three ladders? Do I really need three? I sh Yeah, I should. I should just... Fucking Christ. Oh, I see. They're just going on there. Because they can't go on the tool rack. Alright. Back. Alright, this works. Whoa, you ranked up. Take some rope. I did take some rope, did I not? Did I not take rope? Climbing anchor. That's my rope, is it not? Yeah, that's my rope. It's the best I'll get. Oh boy, alright. So I gotta go there. 1.2 kilometers. Did they just not give you a vehicle? They said I have to go on foot, which really sucks. <laughs> I can urinate? Why do they show like a baby? I don't like that. There's a time for everything. Thank you. There's time for everything. This this ain't it. Okay. Yeah, I mean it kind of sucks that uh, you don't get to drive anything. They kind of cuck you. They're showing you a vehicle at the beginning that you could drive, and then you just never get to drive one again. That's what I'm getting at by this. Locked. I mean, it does say lock. They do give you vibes like, you know, eventually it does unlock. Where? That? Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. Nick Easton. Nothing? You have nothing to say to me. Just that? Okay. Here's some likes. 30 likes. Hell yeah. Wait, that's something he put? Who the fuck is this Nick guy? Just piss off the edge of a cliff, hell yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Come on! Come on! Get through! Come on! 
I do got a strong back, dude. I'm the toughest of them all. Oh, he looks pretty exhausted. More on the back, baby. Cargo on your shoulders? You never showed me an option of putting cargo on my shoulders. Only back. Only back. Yeah, I do have mounts on them, but it's just like it doesn't give me the option to put it on my shoulder. I go on your shoulders. Can you fuck off? Because I can't do it. What? Fuck you. I thought it would let me manage, but nope. Wait, did they actually get damaged from that? Because they show to be brown, or, or are they actually just normally brown because they're lost cargo? That might be it. I doubt that I actually just damaged it. Because, look, there's some that are fine, so I feel like they were already damaged. Because they're lost. Nice. Is it damaged? I can't tell. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's got to be crystal clean if it's not damaged. At least I think. Oh, jeez, dude. I don't know. I don't know if he's doing... Okay, um... What is it? All right then. Yeah, look, that one's damaged. All right. Good to know. What the fuck? What are you? Oh. Perfect. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and you don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Play lost cargo delivery. Lost cargo can also be entrusted to other players for delivering by selecting entrust cargo any terminal other than the destination terminal. Following options can be selected. Entrust delivery. Submit the cargo at the facility and entrust its delivery to another player. Don't entrust. Do to submit the cargo, keeping it on your person in order to deliver it yourself.
So this isn't delivering it. Robot, what should I do? Should I entrust them to another player? Or should I deliver them myself? I only get 24 likes right now, and I'll get 40 if it's returned. This isn't putting them there for now. This isn't going here. I can't take them back. And I just have to hope that they are returned by another person. That's all it is. But I mean, I'm already... I'm at 39 kilograms. I have 120 and I got a long trip to go. I'm thinking getting rid of half is smart, but not all. That's what I'm going to do. I get rid of three of them and keep three. That's what I'll do. So that shows six. Hold up. Did I not keep three of them? No, I think I did. It definitely looks like I did. Oh, stop. It looks like I did. There's no cargo that can be delivered. I, I transferred it all. Fuck. Ah, uh, whatever. It's also not that big of a deal. Oh my god, that makes no sense. I selected three of them, but it put in all six. Why would it do that? Man, fuck. Dropped cargo can be delivered to places other than its intended destination. These deliveries are evaluated based on distance between the place you delivered to and the intended destination. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's probably actually what I had to do. Didn't think about that. I don't, I don't need to use it right now. But I will take a piss. Oh, yeah. Wait. What if I... Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Woo! They're all for the city I just left. Dude, that doesn't mean I'm going back. Fuck that. Yeah, no, I'm not just gonna go back there. Such a waste of time. I got an expedition. Hold up. It's just over this mountain. Go around it.
Also, the bounce in this game, now that I know how it works, it's way too easy to maintain. It's like, just press both L2 and R2 and you're good. Nah, I don't really need to grab them on my way back. Might as well just hold on to them. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. Where the fuck do I go? You're gonna tell me this, like, this, this far in? I'm so fucking screwed. I don't care about cargo anymore. I don't give a fuck about it. Scan for a cave? Who fucking has none? There's not even one close by. I just have to fucking live, dude. I don't give a fuck about the cargo. Oh, god damn it. I gotta figure out how the stealth works in this. Stealth is kind of weird. Because they got like those weird like cords coming off of them. It's like, how does that work? Also, I lost cargo. But I can't give a fuck about it anymore. How the fuck do I hold my breath? I forgot how to. Don't take a piss. <laughs> okay, it's like that. Okay, I'm good. For now. I wonder. Could my ladder? It couldn't go all the way. But I could probably set up two. Oh, that doesn't really work. Whatever. I can make it work. It at least gets me a bit there. Still raining though. Had to like rats a ship. But there's else to go. There's no this is like literally the best I can do. I just got to deal with the fact that it's not gonna go all the way. And I can just get a bit further in.
Dude, why are there no fucking caves? What do you mean there goes all my ladders? I used two. Look. I still got two more. Thinking I used all my fucking ladders. Hell no. What's with the alarm? to be in good order and soon our way station will be too i hope how damaged was it zero must have been covered i guess anything that gets cut like um i didn't think they'd do something like that but i guess if it's lower on the if it's like under shit under other cargo it doesn't get hurt by the water not the water, the rain, whatever the fuck you want to call it, same thing. <laughs> 